Hi, I'm Charlene Aminoff, and I've teamed up with BP Print Group to bring an amazing campaign to your awareness. It's not even a campaign, it's a way of life. As we know, women in Klal Yisrael have three basic mitzvot, one of which is candle lighting. Now, I have a very special story that I would like to share with you about the power of lighting Shabbat candles, and not just lighting Shabbat candles, but lighting them on time. I I work with my shaitals and I have clients from all walks of life coming in. And unfortunately, a large percentage of my clients are medical patients. And I had a Russian woman come in with her 16-year-old daughter a little while ago to purchase a cranial prosthetic for her because she was diagnosed with a bad disease and her prognosis was was quite quite glum. And she was devastated as was her daughter. Upon talking to them for a couple of moments, I recognized something about the way she was speaking about their upbringing maybe, maybe led me to believe that she may have been a Jew. So although her last name was very not Jewish sounding, I had the courage to ask her, I said, I'm so sorry, but are you Jewish? And she said, well, my mother is. And I said, you understand that that means that you are too? And she said, no, no, you see, I married a non-Jew, I haven't practiced any part of my faith in years, and I just want to do something for my daughter. She's only 16, she has her whole life ahead of her. I want to do something to be able to help her. So I said, you can. Do you light candles Friday nights? She said, no, I, I have no connection to Judaism. I've lost it all. She said, you know, but now that you're mentioning candles, I remember when I was a little girl, I would watch my grandmother light Shabbat candles. And you just struck something in me. You think I should do that? You, you, you think that would help? I said, listen to me. Hashem is our one and only doctor in the world. Hashem is the only person that can diagnose and can heal. So do me a favor. You're claiming that you could do, and you would do anything for your daughter. Light candles Friday night, and let's reconvene in a couple of months. And she looked at me with a look in her eyes, and she said she doesn't think her daughter has a couple of months. And I said, are you doubting Hashem? I stuck my hand in my drawer, and I pulled out a little organza pouch with two candles in it. This is what I keep here at all times, in case I encounter a Jewish woman who's not yet lighting Shabbat candles. And I handed this to the mother. And I said, promise me that you will light Shabbat candles Friday night. And I taught her how to find out the exact times every week. And she promised me she would. She took a beautiful wig for her daughter and they left with newfound hope and chizuk. That was in February. In October, I hear a knock at my door and I'm sitting at my office drowning in paperwork. And I wasn't expecting a client at that time. And my door opens and I see in walks in the mother and her daughter. Her daughter with full grown lashes and eyebrows with a really, really cute pixie cut of her own. And my heart started to race. I said, how are you? I've been praying for you. I've been thinking of you. And she said, Charlene, we had a miracle. She said, from the day we left your office, she said, I took your two tea lights and I went to the drugstore near my home and I bought a pack. And I promised God that although I hadn't been connected to my religion for many, many years, even decades, I would now light Shabbat candles every Friday night to bring light into my daughter's life. And she said, we just found out that her PET scan showed everything is disappeared. It's clear, it's gone. This is by no means a regular situation. She had a clear nace. She had Siata Deshmaya swoop down and show her that Hashem is the ultimate Baruch Rofecholim. He's the one and only healer in the world. And Baruch Hashem, today her daughter is a healthy and striving senior in high school with a beautiful, bright and healthy future ahead of her. And the mother is continuing to light candles. I spoke to her daughter briefly and her daughter promised me that when it comes time for her to become a married woman, she will marry a Jew and she will promise to light candles every Friday night to carry on the legacy. So this is 
a story that I want to share with everybody because we all know, we all know that it is expected of us to light Shabbat candles, but we don't recognize the power and the strength of lighting them. Sometimes we take it for granted. But BP Print Group is offering an unbelievable free service to everyone in America and in Canada. You sign up just by sending a little text or a WhatsApp to one phone number, and every single week, they will send you the exact candle lighting time for your location. Me, Ka'am Chai Yisrael. Ladies, I implore you all, get your friends, get your relatives, get your family members in on this amazing free initiative. Sign up every single week. You will have the exact candle lighting time texted to your phone. No searching in a hustling, bustling house for a calendar, no asking Siri, no Googling it, no calendars, nothing. You will have it on your phone for easy access. And please share this with your friends. It's free and it is a collaborative effort from BP Print Group and myself. We want to thank you all for being a part of this amazing initiative and please help us grow this campaign to get as many women across the globe to light candles, to light it on time, and to recognize the greatness of this unparalleled mitzvah. Be on time every time. Text or WhatsApp your zip code to 732-785-4164 for your weekly candle lighting reminder. A free public service provided by BP Print Group.